All right, breaking news out of Missouri, where the state health department has rejected Planned Parenthood's license to perform abortions. Joining us now with the latest is CBSNews.com reporter Kate Smith. She's been reporting on this story from the very beginning. Uh, let's take a step back. Kate, explain to us uh, what happened in that courtroom. Um, we actually haven't begun the court hearing right now. It is set to start at 10 a.m. But right now what we're hearing is breaking news that the State Health Department of Missouri has chosen not to renew Planned Parenthood of St. Louis's license. Vlad, why this is so important is Planned Parenthood of St. Louis is the state's last remaining abortion clinic. If this clinic is forced to not be able to perform abortions anymore, that will mean that Missouri will no longer have any abortion access in the state. So this is very big news for um, people who are watching this issue. All right, so there are two issues, right? One is the state health department uh, not renewing the clinic's license, and the other is what is meant to happen uh, in that courtroom. Explain that. Exactly. So right now we have the news that the state health department will not renew the license. That means that we can move forward with this. So in the court right behind me, what's going to happen today is there's a status conference. What's going to happen is the judge is going to hear arguments both from the clinic and from the state health department about what should happen next. So they have two different options. They can either stay within the court, and that's what Planned Parenthood's argument is. They're saying that this has been a politicized issue. It is not a health issue anymore. It's completely a political and about a woman's right to choose. However, the state argues that this is simply about access to women's health care and safe women's health care. So according to the state, you know, they just want to have women have safe access to abortion or safe access to any kind of health care. And they believe that this should be handled within the context of the state, and they want to kick it over to an administrative hearing committee. Vlad, why that is so important is that that administrative hearing committee is filled with people who have been uh, appointed by the governor who is very anti-choice. So, you know, deciding whether where the jurisdiction is is actually critical for what happens next for this clinic. So, Kate, explain how Planned Parenthood St. Louis got to this point. Uh, that's a long story, Vlad. I mean, what's go been going on has been a multi-year story about access to abortion in Missouri. For the past, you know, two decades, state legislators have been passing laws that severely limit a, a woman's ability to access abortion in this state. And through a series of different things, you know, there are bans on when you can get it, how many weeks out. There are bans on how big the rooms have to be, how wide the hallways have to be. And then there are also bans on how you get it. So there's a 72-hour waiting period. There's a state mandated counseling period. So between all of these things, effectively every single abortion clinic in the state has shut down except for this one in St. Louis. And in St. Louis specifically, it's been a license over, uh, excuse me, it's been a battle over the license. So in late May, CBS News was able to break that there was this battle going on between the state health department and the clinic. And the state health department was citing various issues that was going on. And they were threatening to not even make a decision and effectively effectively letting that license just expire on its own. And that's when a judge intervened and said, the state has to make a decision. They can't be passive about this. They have to decide one way or another what's going to happen next. And that's what you're seeing today. The state has made a decision. They are not going to renew the license. And that's where we are. So, Kate, explain again to our audience uh, how what's happening in Missouri uh, relates to other recent efforts to ban abortion around the country. Um, this is going to be probably looked at as a roadmap. And Vlad, I'd like to actually pause. We have an incoming statement coming from Planned Parenthood of Missouri right now. They've tweeted something. I'd love to read it to you. Sure. They're saying, breaking, today's Missouri Health Department weaponized a regulatory process to deny an abortion license to the last remaining abortion clinic in the state. Uh, that provides abortion. The fate of abortion access now rests in the court's hands. Hashtag bans off my body. Hashtag stop the bans. So Planned Parenthood, like we said before, they're viewing this license process as a weaponization of normal regulatory procedures. And we've seen this. Uh, and to your point, it can be a roadmap of what other states can look to. And that was what I was uh, getting at, uh, Kate. Uh, this is not just uh, happening in Missouri, although we are in the midst of it at this very moment. But uh, there are similar efforts underway in other states. 
There absolutely are. I mean, this has been an unprecedented year for limiting access to abortion across states in the South and the Midwest. Um, you've seen an unprecedented number of states pass um, what we call heartbeat bills. That's a bill on um, banning abortion after six weeks into a woman's pregnancy. And Vlad, as we've said so many times before, most women don't know that they're pregnant at six weeks. So a lot of you know pro-abortion advocates say this is an effective ban on abortion outright. But here's the important thing to remember about those fetal heartbeat bills. None have been able to be enacted. Every single one has been blocked by a court. So I think that's really what's so important about this whole license process because, you know, state legislators haven't seen the any luck enacting these bans, but they are seeing luck and being able to get, you know, access on the license side. So you're really seeing a roadmap for states that truly want to end abortion in their states. Here's how you do it. Look at Missouri. Uh, really great reporting, uh, Kate. Thank you so much for sharing that breaking news with us. Uh, we'll be checking in with you later uh, as we learn what the court decides. We appreciate it.